Douglas Element living, breathing, working, and specializing in downtown San Diego. And as quickly as I can, I'm going to explain to you why it's so important to align yourself with someone who specializes in this growing urban metropolitan area. So throughout downtown 92101, there are over 100 different condos and townhomes. And this is amongst six to nine, depending on how you want to slice it, different districts that give access to the spectacular Bayside. Now this is going to come complete with panoramic views and dramatic vistas of Coronado Bridge, the island, the Pacific Ocean, and then even looking back upon the lit up city skyline in the evening. So just a few more things to know. Among the more recent development projects completed are the Waterfront Park, the San Diego Symphony Outdoor Performance Venue, otherwise known as The Shell, and the recently remodeled Portside Pier. Now there is so much scheduled for San Diego's future. The economy is booming. Some say that we're the seat of San Francisco, and this is due largely in part to many of these upcoming development projects, which I'm gonna get into in a second, bringing in tens of thousands of high paying tech jobs like AI, life sciences, and biotech. Now just some of these upcoming development projects include, but not limited to, Manchester Pacific Gateway, in which two thirds of it were actually purchased and acquired by IQHQ. They're going to be developing the RAD District, that's R-A-D-D, -D, Research and Development District, Horton Plaza, which is a life sciences hub underway right now, the Gaslamp Promenade, which if you've ever been to the Santa Monica Third Street Promenade, that's essentially what it's gonna imitate, Seaport Village, East Village Green, the Convention Center Rooftop Park, 7th and Market, Tailgate Park, and if you just extend a little bit beyond, downtown into the metro area and along the waterfront, you've got Navor, Riverwalk, and the Chula Vista Bayfront Project. So diving in a little bit deeper to the districts of downtown, maybe you want the incredible walkability and great food of Little Italy, Seeking luxury, look no further than the dubbed Millionaire Row of the Columbia District, or the softer and well-positioned Marina District. Uh, something a little bit more vibrant, obviously look no further than the historic Gaslamp District. The largest and most diverse district by far is of course going to be the East Village, which is actually comprised of a few different sub-districts known as the Idea District and Maker's Quarter. And San Diego expert economists are actually dubbing this the downtown of the future with everything that we have planned. A big project is the East Village Green. And of course, there's always the quieter but still very walkable Cortez Hill. And the wild card of the bunch is technically uptown. It's part of 92101, it's a little bit north. It's the prestigious Bankers Hill. And this includes, but not limited, to some of San Diego's premium luxury high-rises, including 41 West and the park. So as I mentioned before, there's over 100 different condos and townhomes in 92101. We have ultra-luxury, low and mid-rises, high-rises. We even have a handful of carefully hidden New York-style lofts. There's townhomes. There's even a few single-family homes, although they are rare. And if you want amenities, we have that too. Barbecues, spas, saunas, pools, exercise rooms, etc. Or maybe you don't want any amenities at all, it's not important to you and you'd rather keep your HOA payments low. I understand. I have a personal top 10, which I'm happy to share, or maybe you just want expert advice on where to start. I would love to be your key to the San Diego city. Let me know what questions you have. Let me know how I can help. I love this city and I'd love to be of service to you. Thank you so much for watching.